I just finished the tutorial and I wasn't recording, so let's redo this shit again. So you want to learn how to create this crazy smoke dissolve effect that will make your subject disappear in a crazy way without any paid plugins inside of After Effects? Well, then you clicked on just the right tutorial because in this video, I'm about to break it down step by step and drop all of the sauce like I always do. And for you guys who don't know, I'm lurking visuals and I run the State Creative Store where we got presets and assets that will help music video editors just like you level up your edits and take them to the next level. And this effect is actually from my ultimate VFX kit. I'll have it linked in the description right now. So go and check it out before we get into the tutorial. But let's get right into it. So I'm in After Effects right now. And as you can tell, I got this music video right here. It's just a basic clip, nothing special. What I'll be doing with this one is grabbing the rotor brush tool and start masking out my subject like we always do. And I won't go through the rotoscoping too much because that's pretty easy. If you don't already, then you're just slow. But once you mask out your subject, you should have something like this. And you can tell right now it's a little bit rougher on the edges right here and we want to make it a little bit smoother so i'll add on a refine soft matte effect and as you can tell like right away we got a little bit smoother edges right there so i'll turn down the additional edge radius and turn off the feather to something like this and then what i'll do and then what i'll do is press this invert foreground slash background and now we got this so i'll just turn up the shift edge to like 60 70 percent like this and now what i'll do with this one is open up the content aware fill tab right here if you can't find it just open a window and press content aware fill and i won't be messing with the settings i always keep my settings like this so I'll just copy them the alpha expansion at five fill method at object and light and lightning and light and lighting method and lighting correction at strong and make sure that your range is your work area and then press generate fill layer and once your fill layer is in place you should have something like this so you can tell we can't see our subject right now and even though the content aware fill isn't the smoothest it's enough for me to work with in this tutorial so what i'll do now is duplicate the background layer and move it above my fill layer so we'll have our fill layer in between the subject and the background we can remove all of the effects from the background as well as select our foreground layer and press invert foreground slash background once again because that was only needed for the content aware fill and now we got our subject back in place and we can turn down the shift edge once again and now we'll start adding the effects on to make our subject disappear or kind of dissolve and the first effect that will help us create this is a scatterize effect and I'll be dragging it onto my subject layer and I'll keyframe the scatter right twist as well as the left twist and go like 20 frames in somewhere around here and turn up the scatter a lot to like 100 so we can have our subject disappear like this as well as just mess with the right twist turn it to like 90 right there as well as the left twist to the other side and now we should have a subject disappear like this the problem right now is that it isn't smooth so to make it smoother i'll be pressing u on my keyboard and select all of my keyframes easy is all of them and let's start with the scatter create a graph that looks something like this so it's just slow in the beginning and then speeds up towards the end that way it will be a little bit smoother and we can create something similar for the other ones maybe not drag it out as much something like this as well as the other twist and now that we got that in place i'll be adding on the next effect which is a turbulent displays and i'll be turning down the amount to zero here in the beginning and keyframe that one and then we'll turn up the size to 300 and the complexity to 100. oh no i meant 10 I'll turn up the complexity to 10 which is the max and let's go all the way to the end right here and we can turn up the amount to whatever number you want like 25 looks good but you can also go as high as 100 but i wouldn't recommend that you go any higher than this because this is where it looks like it's dissolving so i will keep it at 100 maximum and now I'll press u on my keyboard once again select my keyframes and create the graph like this so that it's not as effective in the beginning and then towards the end it will turn up just like this and i'll be keyframing my opacity you can add on a transform effect like this and drag it onto your subject layer and then just keyframe the opacity from 100 all the way to the end and turn it down to zero 
why we want to add the transform effect is because if you want to save this as a preset you need to do it like this so you can select all of your keyframes now and go to animation save animation as preset and then just name it if i play it through right now it looks like this which is actually insane it's really smooth so i'm pretty happy with it and you can also do it like this if you want to have your subject come in instead of disappear you can grab all of these keyframes and move them all the way over here and then grab these keyframes on the end and turn them and move them all the way to the beginning that way you'll have your subject come into the scene instead of disappear just like that but if you want it smooth you have to mess with the graph editor like we did last time but this time make sure that it goes faster in the beginning and then slows down throughout the scene but that's pretty much it. I'll have the ultimate VFX kit linked in the description so you guys can instantly download it and get to working on your videos and instantly save time and get some crazy edits. But that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. Follow me on IG. I drop a lot of sounds on there too. And you can join the Discord link in the description. But I'll see you guys in the next one.